Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sunny. Today I'm here with a bit of a declutter video. So I'm going to clean up some of my makeup and organize my drawers so that I can make some room for proper storage of the new fragrances that I've been adding to my collection. So this is not a perfume video, but I hope this inspires you to do some decluttering of yourself maybe. And uh, let's get started. So the first place that I have some skincare stuff along with random stuff is this little tray that I have on my vanity here. And I have my makeup brushes and random skincare stuff and Tom's for some reason. Uh, my husband's fragrances are over there. And also I have this acrylic piece where I have random um, beauty products that some are, are never even open. but. Um, that I also rarely use because of the pandemic. I don't really wear makeup anymore And then I also have even more products in this jar over here. So Yeah, but this is not all This nightstand over here this Is a mess like I have some skincare stuff beauty products here mixed with headphones and some stuff for you know nighttime, but um no need to be in two different furnitures, but here we are. Um, the second drawer is full of, you know, sample sizes that I got um, with purchase and some backups, a lot of backup masks, and um, yeah, just backups of like, hand sanitizers and stuff. And then, so this is the last drawer, and um, this box over here, I have all of my nail polishes and um, some backup like makeup applicators and um, cotton pads. Um, these pouches here are probably full of like travel sizes I think and here are some stuff that are kind of backups or um, stuff that I haven't opened up yet. Um, probably some here too. Yeah and a bunch of uh, makeup products that I am waiting to open up and why is there a duster can here? I don't know. So. Yeah, this vanity is full of beauty stuff slash like random other objects and we have this area for my beauty products too. So I decided to start by putting all of the beauty products on top of this vanity and now that I can finally visualize how much crap I have, I mean it's not crap because I am going to use all of it I think at some point. maybe. Um, we'll get rid of some expired products that might be hiding somewhere, but this is not normal. This is this has been also been spread across two different furniture, so that is not good. So um, I am first going to start by picking out like backups of products that I love, like boxes like this and um, hand sanitizers and unopened products. Um, my favorite eye cream and um, you know some new products that um, came out that I haven't tried yet. So I'm going to take all of the new stuff out of this pile and then I decided to put them in this emptied out drawer at the bottom of my um, nightstand. And yeah, this is going to be filled with like backup product. So this is what we're left with after I put all the full size um, backup products and organize them into that drawer. So to the left, I have um, this pouch filled with deluxe sample sizes that I got from Blue Mercury. I'm just gonna keep this to the edge um, just in case I find any more deluxe samples in the mess. And I'm going to add them into this pouch right here. And everything else, I think I just need to go through them like one by one and re-examine them to see how often I use it, if I'm going to keep it, if it's expired, and um, yeah, and just hopefully, you know, there will be things that I get to throw out. Okay, so let's start with this pouch over here. Um, so first we have this Sycoplast from La Roche-Posay. Love this, just bought this. Um, I'm having a lot of like redness in my face because of the season changing and I've also started using retinol. Um, and I think this is supposed to be really good for like the healing phase. So yeah, I'm definitely keeping that one. So we'll put that to the side. This is a sunscreen from this Korean brand called Neogen. And I love this because it doesn't smell like sunscreen. I hate the smell of sunscreen. And you know, this one, it really smells really nice. And also it like moisturizes pretty well and it goes in to your skin without leaving a white cast. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one. Thank you. 
And this is a um, contouring palette from Too Cool For School. And I like to use these tiny little circle um, stickers. The camera is not really catching it, but... And I actually write down the um, date that I'm supposed to throw it out. So like if it says like 12 months, then I will write like 12 months from the date that I opened. And it says um, September 2020. So this is super old and it's going to be thrown out. Unfortunately, I didn't, you know, use this that much because again, like the pandemic hit and I used to wear a lot more makeup before the pandemic, but now I never do almost. So yeah, I'm so sad that I didn't really get to use this one, but it's expired. So we're going to say goodbye. Next up is my foundation. Okay, so I love this foundation. It's Luminous Silk by Giorgio Armani, and this is the only foundation that matches my skin tone, and it's the shade number four. I have trouble finding like foundations that really like match my skin tone to a T, and they um, updated like these smaller bottles to have a pump finally. So yeah, I should have written down when I bought this. Um, it looks like it's separating a little, but maybe it just needs a little shake. I don't know. But for this one, I'm going to look up um, on my past like Sephora purchases and see when I bought this and then just calculate like how long I've had this and then decide if I'm going to throw it out or if I'm going to keep it. Uh, this is a sheer foundation from Estee Lauder and I um, really like the sheerness of this and um, it has a little bit of SPF, not enough obviously, but yeah, I got this recently. I probably won't throw it out just yet, but the, my only um, issue with it is that this shade doesn't really fit my skin tone. It's a little bit too light. This is one of my favorite mascaras, it's the Roller Lash from Benefit and of course I didn't put the sticker on this one and I should be really um, good about that from now on but let's open her up. This is what she looks like for those of you who care to know but I just did the smell test and actually it smells okay so it doesn't seem to be off or anything so I'm gonna actually keep this because I really like this mascara. And finally, I have this Magic Starter. It's a primer from Hera, which is another Korean brand. And I think I've had this a little too long. Actually, there's an expiration date on this. And it's actually expiring in May, which is very soon. So you know what? I'm just gonna let this go because I don't see any occasion where I'm gonna need this primer um, within the next like few days. So bye-bye. Um, onto this guy right here. Uh, this is actually unopened eye cream, so I should probably put it with my unopened items. There is a whole thing about um, these are like a waste of money of having water in a spray can form but I love carrying these when I'm hiking or when I'm like walking around the city in the blazing sun during the summer because I just don't like getting sticky and I like to spray this to either cool myself or just to kind of spray it and then like wipe my wipe myself down with a piece of tissue just to like get it freshened up. Okay, so it looks like I have floss and um, like a travel sized um, toothbrush and earplugs. Okay, so these are all the things that 
I'll like to I would like to carry with me while I'm traveling, so I'm gonna keep these. So the full size stuff that I need to put with the unopened products. Let's see, put you over here, put you over here. This is a brand new eyeliner from Sephora and I think I'm gonna keep this one because um, I know I just threw out the NARS one but um, this is waterproof so it shouldn't smudge as much and it comes with a little like tip for smudging it so I think it'll be good for the days that I do go for like a smoky eye look so we'll see how this one works but it's brand new so I'm definitely keeping it. This is a palette from Charlotte Tilbury. So this is one of their instant look in a palette. Um, and this is the one that's the stoned rose beauty version of it but um, yeah I love these palettes because it has everything you need like this is like all you need if you are going to travel and um, you don't want to take too many you know color makeup with you um, and every every color in this palette is pretty neutral a little bit rosy and I just like the convenience of this and I got this maybe like a year ago and we're still good until the end of next year for this so you know what I'm keeping this check this out if you like can't be bothered with having too many eyeshadows which I'm starting to you know be as well okay so new lipsticks I'm keeping them oops I'm keeping these guys um this is the Charlotte Tilbury Kissing one, and this is my favorite lipstick shade from MAC, the Velvet Teddy. Definitely keeping these guys. And um, this is a MAC lipstick, and it's DGAF. <laughs> um, and I love the shade. It's, yeah, it's a gorgeous shade. It's not as dark as it looks in the tube. It, it's actually kind of a sheer finish, this one, but. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep this. I think I've only had this for a year and I think the the MAC lipsticks are good for like two years or so So definitely I'm keeping that one Okay, so this is a lip balm from Christian Dior and um, it's one of those like refillable ones that they came out with to be like more sustainable and stuff and Love the concept, but I don't like the lip balm that's in here. It smells really like old lady um makeup -y and it tastes awful so i'm actually gonna look look to see um if i can purchase like the lip balm refills that go in this but with other like colors and you know hopefully i can you know continue to use this packaging because i think the product is really pretty but yeah i'm gonna get rid of the lip balm in here once i get the refill and this is a, a lipstick from christian dior as well and let's look at the date here Okay, so <laughs> the product actually expired like a couple of months ago, so I love this um, packaging, so gorgeous and luxury, but um, you know, I used to wear red lips sometimes, but again, like the pandemic just, <laughs> you know, made all of my makeup kind of obsolete. So yeah, I, have, I guess I have to get rid of this one. So sad, but there you go. This is a palette um, from MAC that I customized and yeah, I think it's time to let these go because I can't even remember when I bought these shades. I don't even use like all of the colors. I think I only use this one and uh, the other ones are like still pretty new. So I'm going to get rid of this. I might, you know, deep pan this and um, or actually get like a single one of this because this is probably expired. So yeah, um, I'm also sadly letting go of this one. to this box right here and sorry it's so dusty these are all my um nail polishes and like an empty bottle for you know traveling um to put my creams into and i just had a quick look and there's um nothing that i really want to get rid of i mean some of these colors i'm kind of like mm, do i keep this color like i only use it like maybe twice during the summer out of the year but um there's not much in here, so I think I'm going to keep these all for now. 
And then all of these I definitely use. I know there's like one too many brushes here, but this is good for when this when I'm drying my hair. This is good for like the scalp massaging. This is good for when I'm trimming my bangs and just you know straightening out my parts. And this is good for when I'm putting like products like this one um, into my hair is a hair serum, like a leave-in hair serum. And this is good to kind of like work it into the strands. And then this is a face massager from Dr. Jart that I love using. So I just finished um, organizing everything and look how empty the top of that vanity is. Um, I didn't get rid of a whole lot of stuff but now I've made a sense of where things are. So these are like the things that I'm using every day and right underneath um, I'm still keeping some beauty products here but more for like the body so like you know it makes sense that they're sitting next to my um, underwear drawer and these are also things that I'm using every day of course but this is all the stuff that I'm get, getting rid of again it's not much but you know I'm still make, I'm making progress and you know le learning to let go of you know some luxury items you know holding on to things that you know just because they're pretty in packaging and whatever it's just not making sense anymore so I'm um, getting rid of those and I reorganized this drawer bef uh, than before um, so that's all my nail stuff in there and then that's all my samples um, that's a epilator and that um, striped pouch has all of um, my travel uh, stuff and then that pink pouch has my masks the Charlotte Tilbury still has all of my unopened makeup products um, I have all of my um, skincare unopened products along with you know hand sanitizers and um, body and hair stuff so that's all in there and then that tray that you saw before is still gonna sit in here but it has stuff that's more tools type of things um, and stuff that I do use like occasionally and you know it's making sense like the stuff that I'm using at similar times are like in here and uh, all of my back backups are in that bottom drawer over there so uh, thanks for joining me for this declutter uh, slash organization. It's not much of a declutter, but you know, I'm I have a tight space here, and I do have a lot of makeup products and skincare products, and it's not easy to organize in such a tight space. But um, you know, maybe I'll look into some organizers and and figure out something that looks a little bit better than this. You know, it doesn't really make sense like whole decor wise to have this like ivory tray next to a clear acrylic thing like it's not looking pretty so you know i'll have to look into some organizing unit i also want to mention that this is not my permanent home and the furniture was here when i got here so i kind of had to work with it and the best i can do is declutter and organize when i can and getting organized really helps me focus on what i enjoy more or the things that are important to me so I hope this inspires you to do a bit of organizing or decluttering yourself. I also hope you enjoyed hearing me talk about some of my favorite beauty products and also the thought process behind getting organized. I hope to see you guys in the next one and bye for now.